Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the uh, GPU FFT block that is in uh, GR Wave Runner on our GitHub page. Um, so here I'm showing the example file uh, for leveraging the GPU to do FFTs. Um, so the first block over here is the SOPI source. This is the um, AIR-T uh, block of choice for the time being. Uh, so we define a sample rate, the number of channels, um, the RF options, um, we've turned the AGC on, and we'll be streaming complex data. Then we go to the stream to vector block. This essentially allows us to build up a buffer of samples to send to the GPU to do the FFT. Uh, now recall that the ART has shared memory, so you don't actually have to transfer data across a PCI bus. Uh, it already exists there on the GPU memory. So we define the uh, buffer size to be uh, the number of FFTs that we want to do simultaneously times the size of one FFT. Um, and then we open up the GR Wave Winner FFT box, which leverages KU FFT. Um, and we can see the, uh, the vector length and the FFT size uh, is matched to the stream to vector size. So we will make this FFT batch size times an FFT, make this an FFT, uh, and you can see that we can do forward or reverse um, FFTs there. Okay, and if you're not aware, the this function is about the same as the built-in FFT block in GNU Radio, um, except after you have GR Wave Runner installed, it shows up here. Um, so just drag that into your flow graph. Okay, so the next we have a buffered of, uh, of frequency domain um, signals coming out. Um, so we turn the vector back into a stream, so it's pretty much the inverse. So we're going to have a FFT batch size is the number of items, and the vector length is the uh, size of the FFT. Uh, then for plot, and you can do whatever you want to at that point, but for plotting purposes, we'll take the complex magnitude uh, and then the uh, 10 log 10 of the frequency domain signal to give us the power spectral density, and we'll dump that into a QT vector sync. Uh, we set up the QT vector sync um, to be normalized frequency. Um, vector size is NFFT, uh, and then we just set all of this accordingly. Um, and if we hit play here, uh, on the top up here is um, Tegra stats, so you can see how the GPU is behaving. Uh, and down here I've got top, so you can see how the, uh, how the uh, CPU is behaving. Um, so you see, can see that we have a signal coming in right here. I can turn off my signal generator. Um, and you can see, there you go, that the signal goes away. Um, so we're tuned to uh, 3.1 gigahertz, and that's the uh, signal that I'm sending in right here. Um, so that is a good example um, of how to use the FFT block that leverages QFFT. And so you can see as I move around the tone and frequency, it does in fact switch FFT bends. Um, so this is a great tutorial. It's open source. You can uh, look at the way we built this block and you can build your own and add to it um, or you can just use this one. Alright, well thank you for your time and check back in for the next blog post.